Hello, this is African View with me, Yodi Tadmaso. In this edition, we are going to talk about African business. How is it evolving? What kind of interactions are going on between African business people? And to talk about this, the business that is especially in the East Africa region, I am joined by a businessman from Sudan. Uh, please introduce yourself and tell us what kind of business you are engaged in. Okay, thank you. And about this chance, this is a good chance for me and for Sudanese uh, businessmen uh, who have uh, worked in Ethiopia. My name is uh, Engineer Nohezi Arufai. Mm -hmm. He works in the, we have an uh, engineering company and consultancy office in Sudan. And there is also the manufacturing the water tanks in Sudan and some uh, plastic uh, PP or PE for the food grade uh, of uh, plastic. Mm -hmm. for all the industry of foods and industry for uh, water tanks okay. of a water generators. Yeah. That's interesting. We'll talk about the water tanks and your uh, company, the engineering company. But first I want to talk about business as a general in Africa and particularly in East Africa. How is it evolving? How are the countries interacting with each other? Okay, the businessman in Africa before us, there is a negotiation, we discuss many things about this. And there is a many requests from the government uh, between all the African countries about we need the facilities between, like uh, between Ethiopia and Sudan. And there is uh, all the businessmen in Sudan or Ethiopia who look about the facility to give it from two sides, from Ethiopia and Sudan, and, uh, and easy to apart like transfer of money, like uh, which is uh, facility we give it from two countries uh, for the businessman for Ethiopia or for the businessman from Sudan come to Ethiopia to invest and to do many things. There is a have a many papers and many problems we we, we see about the. Uh, if not going uh, fast, it's not going uh, as, a, as, a, as the roads, it's, it's the right roads. But we look at, for the solve with all the problem. Assume for the definite for the two country and the businessman is a very big one. But now till you use it about only 5%. Okay, so can you say that the main problem that uh, the business people, especially for example in Ethiopia and Sudan, the problem that they face is problem of currency because both yeah. of them in order to interact they have to have a dollar the currency this is all uh, all the problem in sudan and Ethiopia together but there is have another solution solution it will be we can the businessman if you we, we, we doing the meeting back to back it will be we have a solve it and after that we can we can writing the papers to the two government for Ethiopia and sudan and how to solve it like the many countries now is uh, we have you know the transportation from sudan to Ethiopia is a the cost is very low and also the sudan there is a half a port it's easy for Ethiopia to use the sudan port if the, uh, the the regulation and everything is not communicated easy to do it for this and also this is a, for Ethiopia there is have a many definites it will be from sudan and there is a transfer of uh, knowledge, transfer of experience, transfer of uh, materials. Mm -hmm. We see now the construction site in Ethiopia, there is a develop is uh, going is a uh, fast. If you see now in Addis Ababa, there is a uh, many towers it will be with, uh, going up. We need, this is a uh, many things it will be we can import through Sudan and through all the companies of Sudanese and there is a transfer of knowledge and transfer of uh, which is technology we use it it's easy and also if you look at by sdg or peers for the money between sudan and Ethiopia, it's easy for businessman and easy also to to to, to doing is a fast but if you're waiting about the hard currency if you see like this it will be sudan all we now we need the sudan there is the american in Smargo. it's not easy to do the transfer from out sudan and also, if you want to receive from a super return, it's not easy also through. If you go through through, through bank and through the international transfer, it will exit. For, uh, for solve this, is a problem. It will be for all Sudanese businessmen and Sudanese, in a, uh, the businessmen of a super to look. And we sit with the government for solve about how to get the way about easy to do all the material to income from Sudan and also uh, from Ethiopia to Sudan. There is many agricultural uh, products it will be from Ethiopia and easy to come to Sudan and also to solve a lot of problems mm -hmm. between two countries and 
the definite for or definitely for for the two countries, the population and the businessman also the relationship is will be is good more than which is now. Okay, so like you said, most the infrastructure is all already there. Yeah. The road to Sudan from Ethiopia to Sudan is already there. You have the port, the Sudanese port, yeah. which is easy access also for Ethiopia to use the port. The only problem that you said is the currency and some kind of uh, strategy that the go two governments can work together and put in place so business people it, can... Unsolve it, unsolve the problem. Yeah. And yeah. also the, the short way of the regulations. If you know the Ethiopian, you want to use the Sudan port, there's the many communicates. It's better of Sudanese for solve yeah. all the material to come to Ethiopia is easy and go the, the fast one. So all we look about the time, Yani, yes. All, all we look about the time. There is a problem now with the time and the procedures. The procedure of the documents and all it will be, we take them and sometimes. But if we sit the government and we negotiate it, it will be we can do everything as far and also the tra transportation from Port of Sudan to Asipa is easy and the cost also is low. It will be the epiphany the for two countries. It's not only for Asipa, it's for Sudan and Asipia together and all the businessmen in Sudan and Asipia will be will get the perfect as soon. Okay, that's uh, one point that the government, I'm sure, would take from this, you know, to address these kind of problems. You know, yeah. so, for example, in Ethiopia they have uh, started uh, one window kind of a service for uh, investment and others. So I think the Sudanese ports should also look into that kind of uh, service to facilitate the business people like yourself. And also I want to talk about, you have mentioned about the business opportunities, the engineering and uh, the agriculture. What other opportunities are there for Sudan and uh, Ethiopia, business opportunities to interact with each other? The opportunities is many in mm -hmm. Sudan. You know, Sudan there is a, have the good experience as a member mm -hmm or the engineers and which is we have there is uh, uh, there is many it's easy to transfer the knowledge from sudan to asibia and different also from asibia to sudan mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, just we need you know now the sudan there is a new government but all now we look about the new government it will be there is a solve and already we talk about the new relationship with all the category and especially about the african and asibians and all it will be the relationship is go more and, and more and, 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 and as, as from last time and yeah. last time there is a take it's many times and you know there is which is uh, all the government there is a good many people and all the definitely go by the personal one but now it's look at about the country it will be there is a new good uh, regulation for Sudan mm -hmm. and for uh, mm -hmm. African countries all yeah. yeah. I think there's uh, also a continental free trade agreement that's going on. Maybe when it's practiced, a lot of Africans can easily interact with each other yes. with no tariff and other uh, 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 barriers. We need all the regulation for all we have, like a commission, but how to act if this is a regulation mm -hmm. and you use this is a which is we have it, we use it or we make it the update and we adjust it, which is a problem. Mm -hmm. yani if we, have, we accept it, from uh, Cypriot government and Sudan government, we use peers and mm -hmm. SDG. It will be a very good for all. Yeah, the yeah, two yes. countries. And easy, yes, between two countries. Yeah. Between the, you, you know, there is a the, the, there is a very uh, very easy to trans uh, to to transport between uh, Sudan to Cypriot and Cypriot mm -hmm. to Sudan. And I think this is um, about ten hours and twelve hours. It will be the truck is arrive in, mm -hmm. in, in Addis Ababa and also in Sudan. More, it's about 12 hours it's arrived in Khartoum. Mm -hmm. And easy to mobilize and demobilize from Khartoum and I say at the top of it is easy and it's not difficult. But it's mm -hmm. a problem about the regulation and about the software, about the how to save the money between peer and SDG. Mm -hmm. So the g government people, the finance people have to sit down and yeah. figure out how to, the this two is a, currencies can work. This is a request work. from any businessman from a Cypriot and Sudan also mm -hmm. together. We require apart from the government, we look as soon about this. Definitely mm -hmm. there is a have many solution for two countries and definite for the private sectors also. And there is a big definite for economy for Asipia and economy for Sudan also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You and know now there is a, all the Gulf areas there is a focus upon the um, animals or lambs from Asipia and Sudan together. If you make mm -hmm. a joint it will be there is a have a good price for two countries. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. For export the 
Yeah. The, the, the lands and yeah, animals. The two here. countries work together. Yeah. Yeah. And also there is a many agriculture products also to be there is Sudan and Asupia together. If you make it like a free zone is uh, between Sudan and Asupia, it's easy mm -hmm. to to control mm -hmm. the price for all, which is we, we protect from Sudan and Asupia together. It will be mm -hmm. the product and we pick the one price for uh, which is we have it a products. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's really a good idea, and I think uh, the two people, Sudanese and Ethiopian, they have a lot of things in common. Yeah. So I don't think it would be uh, difficult for them to work together as one. Do you? Yes, but uh, the problem about the, how to use it, the regulation. Mm -hmm. you know, we need to, 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 to solve about the problem between office in, uh, between Sudan and Asubia and the manpower and we need to injections more regulations about Sudanese politics and Cypriot uh, products mm -hmm. for everything is going easier. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's uh, really interesting and I'm sure it's going to work out yeah. well for the yes. two countries. If, yeah. if, if we solve with this, it will be, yani, as Cypriot there is have a Djibouti and another country Mm. and easy to, to, to work it. And also Sudan, yeah. there is a, have an, another country it's easy to open the channels between all the Africans yeah, so uh, and networks. Sudan and Ethiopia Sudan can and set Asimia, an there example. Is a, have a good, uh, yeah. There is a, have a good position for the yeah. Africans. So they can set yeah. a good example yeah. to the other countries where yeah. they can join in and Yes, and easy things. also, and easy to, tra to, to transportation to another country, like through Sudan and like through Asipia, mm. it's easy, Annie, but we need how to, to sit and we put a regulation, and also there is a request from the United African, it will be there is a mm. good regulation from him also for solve all the problems between uh, African countries. Yeah. Okay, that, that's really interesting. Yeah. Has. And now let's talk about your company. You have an engineering company. Okay, so my company is an engineering company who works in the water treatment plant and sewage treatment plant. And mm -hmm. they have a good ex experience and the design and constructions mm -hmm. for the water treatment plants. And also there is a construction site, also it's my engineering company. There is a half another site for the consultant's company. And also there is a make uh, design and uh, bill of quotation and the management of the construction management also we have it at sites like this and there is another site the manufacturing there is a manufacturer's water tank from hdpe and the grp water tank is the agency of manufacturing in sudan also mm -hmm. and i look at about the develop the water tank in sudan in Ethiopia, in Addis Ababa with the some parts here and mm -hmm. already we find some parts here it will be we do it there is a solve a lot of problem for all the towers and all the cities and about uh, drink safe water. Mm -hmm. You know the water's life. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, we so have. So what uh, kind of what kind of products do you have? The product I look about the GRP. GRP. This is a glass refreshment panel. Mm -hmm. This is a type of technologies from Japanese and transferred to South Korea. Now there is mm -hmm. a have an agency and uh, manufacture under license to uh, South Korea and in Sudan. Mm -hmm. There is a the type of uh, water tank. There is a easy to assembly and easy to, uh, to clean and easy to maintain us. And also the guarantees it's 10 years mm -hmm. of the product. The lifetime of the product also is about 50 years. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, this is a very good uh, product for uh, drink waters. Okay. And also there is a use in the towers and hotels and all for there is a for fire fighting and all. Mm -hmm. It will be we use underground uh, 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 and the bedroom in the basement mm -hmm. or the uh, on the roof or the, the top. Okay. Uh, there is a uh, on also there is a gift uh, different size from mm -hmm. two thousand liters up to one million up to million cubic meters. It's easy to do it mm -hmm. for the village and all. So when it it's when it is assembled, it does not leak. Yeah, it's not leak. Yes, there is a have all the technologies. There is mm -hmm. a have a solvent for all, mm -hmm. and we have in Sudan. It's many projects now it's running mm -hmm. more than ten years. It will be the business in Sudan, mm -hmm. and also in uh, the technology. It will be we use it more than twelve or fifteen uh, years in uh, Japan or uh, South Korea. Okay, one of the problems or the questions that people ask is with this kind of tankers with a lot of water containing tankers like you say one million 
it is easy to, con to be contaminated. No, it's, it's not to contaminate the, the water tank already there is an insulated mm -hmm. and after the treatment it will be it will be possible to use it's a raw water or treat water mm -hmm. and also if you want if you have a, you use is a sewage water also there is a half a type for sewage waters mm -hmm. or for sanitaries it's also there is a half a uh, there is a have a type for uh, raw waters okay. but this is the depends about which is the refreshment inside or outside mm -hmm. and this is the depends about which is the application but easy for uh, for clean or for uh, maintenance mm -hmm. or for assembly you know the tank is a sport is uh, important for the panels mm -hmm. after the panels we assembly on site and there is a use also in the firefightings for towers and uh, hotels and all on the hospitals, bank, all it will be for firefighting, it's easy. Mm -hmm. And the potable water and drink water, all it will be, we can use here. So you also provide the treatments and... Yeah, the about the treatment, there is a design, this it depends upon which is the water contamination. Mm -hmm. And uh, it will be the analysis, which is the raw water analysis. After that, we mm -hmm. look about which is the application of water. If you want to drink, I will advise about how to treat. Mm -hmm. and which is a plant we treat. This depends upon the mm -hmm. analysis of waters and the capacity we require from the customizer and it's different from. So what made you uh, get into this kind of business? You know, what are the tanker providing? Is it the shortage of water in your country or it's why? My country. It's not my country. There is any building it will be we need to save waters. Mm -hmm. There is a, you know, there is a network of city. Mm -hmm. It's a very important to save waters. And after that, any building and we need for firefightings or we need for utilities, mm -hmm. like a hotels and like a bank and like which is apartment, it will be, we need the utilities waters. As any calculation of the design of the building, there is a water for utilities and water for firefighting. Mm -hmm. It's better we, we, we make a water tank with the roof, someone we, we make it in the roof, someone we make it in the basement, and someone we use is a two, basement and uh, the roof. Mm -hmm. this, uh, there is a, sometimes the city of water there is a, have a problem in the plant. All the shutdown, if you have the hotel is closed, it's not closed. It's better we have a safe water for 24 hours. If you have mm -hmm. any emergency in the city waters, it will mm -hmm. be we can. It's not mm -hmm. close your room and not, not close it's, uh, everything. So can we use it for swimming? A swimming pool? Uh, yes, if, no. it is, if it is portable and <coughs> if, if you can open the top one, maybe. No, I said uh, no. This is uh, only for, uh, for, for 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 saving water. For saving water. Yeah, for saving water. Yes. Okay. Mm, now let's go to the construction. Now, African countries, not only Ethiopia but other African countries, they are uh, turning their head towards China or yeah, India for, Chinese company, yeah. for construction. Yeah. When we have, like you said, engineers in Sudan and yeah. construction engineers. There is a very big. Construction mm. company in Sudan and as you and also there is a lot of engineers. Mm. Mm. You know, the Sudan there is a, have a lot of universities until there is a very big five universities in uh, the capital city, Khartoum University, mm. Sudan University, Islamic universities, and this is a there is a many engineers it will be and there is a many experience about the construction side mm -hmm. until the design of mm. the buildings and all we have a good knowledge for this. Mm. and easy to transfer to Asupia. Mm -hmm. and, so why and, and are we turning to... But this is a... Using Chinese, I look about the... This is the regulation of the government together for Sudan on Asupia. It's mm -hmm. better. There is, if you uh, use the contractors with the foreign language, like a Chinese or from any West country, mm -hmm. it's better until to, to transfer the know-how, the, the work in jointly with the, with, with, with the local company mm -hmm. for transfer the knowledge like this. Yeah, it's, it's a very important, the government from Sudan and Asubia to put, it's a very hard regulation for the, all the contractors. The construction is not difficult, it's easy, and mm -hmm. the equipment is also easy. But if you got the uh, Sudanese or Asubians jobs, one by one it will be, we can transfer the experience. Mm -hmm. If it's not trust the company between Sudanese and Ethiopians. It will be we give the Chinese, but at least with the joint with which is a local company for transfer. Mm -hmm. With the Chinese we have, it will be we transfer the local one mm -hmm. until to, there is a uh, young engineers. We need how to train and how to do and how to calculate and everything and how to do the management of the building and the construction of the mm -hmm. on site. Yeah. 
Okay, that's really good. So we have to give a chance for the local manpower, local, for local, local yeah. talent first before we go to something for, for else. For engineers, yeah, exactly. Yeah. For, there is many engineers now I see in Ethiopia or in Sudan. Yeah. Yeah. We need how to get a job and how to use the program of management and we do everything mm -hmm. together. But if we don't touch with the foreigners, like mm -hmm. a Chinese or uh, which is foreign mm -hmm. uh, construction company, how to do the transfer and how to do like this. Mm -hmm. It's better there is a put a regulation from the government, any contractor's company come to Sudan or come to Ethiopia, but uh, it's no problem, but jointly with the local company and we give him, which is the staff, by the percentage, and this is, it depends upon mm -hmm. which is the capital of the project, yeah. Mm -hmm. We use the local manpower from engineers and manpower, and which is one, yeah. Okay. That's really good. Yeah. So, uh, what do you see in the future? You know, the Ethiopian and Sudanese business people, the countries. The, the, the future is a very good future for Sudan and for Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of resource for okay. Sudan, for Ethiopia. Till now, I cannot use. But the problem now for the regulation from the two government mm -hmm. is a very important. And the last time we listened to the news, there is a, have a good. Uh, speak from Mr. Abu Ahmed mm -hmm. and about we use all the facilitation from Sudan and also now we look about the new government from Sudan it will be there is a new relationship it will be also there is a good you know, regulation about the recipients mm -hmm. and we solve all the problem mm -hmm. we, between the businessmen from Sudan and Ethiopia. Okay. We look about this. This is a very important yeah. it's a, as soon as also so we solve it it will be there is a, have a lot of resource for two countries and from manpower and uh, resource of economy, if you use it together, it will be there is a benefit for two countries and for two all the businessmen in Sudan and Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. and we got to the good thing, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Nuhizi. Uh, That's you. very interesting topic that we, we have. And uh, if you have anything else that you'd like to add to the business community, to the government, just also there is a very important things. All mm. the media is very important. It's not mm. only uh, about the regulation for the government and the businessman. The media also is very important. We're introduced to visit Sudan. There is a, have a lot of things in Sudan. And we make a joint with the media of Sudanese and Assyrian for, 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 we know which is Assyria we need and which is Sudan we need. This is a very important for your side. The media, you know, there is a mm -hmm. number three of the head yeah, yeah. <laughs> the government, all the government. Yes. There is a half, uh, uh, government and the media is a yeah. very important. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, all the advertise, yeah. it will be there is, uh, we can see in, uh, at, at soon between Sudan and Ethiopia. We need a lot of uh, requirement from Sudan and from your sites also. Yeah. If you have uh, Media exchange yes. programs. Media exchange programs mm. between uh, the two uh, countries. Between two countries, it will be we all we know what we need and how there is have many informations for uh, for the business mm. from Assyria and Sudan and easy to get it here. Yeah, like you said, it's really yeah. important that uh, journalists get involved in this kind of uh, endeavors because they are the one to promote each other's. Uh, yeah facilities that there is, the business opportunities is to, through the media that all this information is uh, reached towards the business people, the government and the others. So media, like you said, has a lot of role to play in yeah. this and uh, the African continental free trade agreements and bringing the African countries together. The opportunity of media is a very important, yeah. Mm. It's a very important for, we know what is we have in Ethiopia, we know what is we have in Sudan. Mm. This is a very important and we need also how to push it this. It will be we solve it, uh, many problems for, uh, for the businessmen. Yes, yeah. we hope so. Yes. And thank you very much for well, coming here, you for dear audience. Like you have heard, Mr. Nuhizi, a businessman and engineer from Sudan, has explained to us about his experiences, his thoughts about what should be done by the government and uh, the regulatory bodies of the two countries in order to better enhance and facilitate the business relationship between the two countries. So uh, that's all that we have for this edition of Africa View with me, Yodit Masu. Till next time, it's goodbye.